The Ashanti Empire, which was located in what is now modern-day Ghana, was known for its wealth and prosperity for several reasons. The Ashanti Empire was located in an area rich in gold deposits, and the empire controlled several gold mines. The Ashanti people were skilled goldsmiths, and they traded their gold with neighboring tribes and with European traders who visited the coast. The Ashanti Empire was located in a strategic position for trade between the forests to the south and the savannah to the north. The Ashanti people controlled several trade routes and were able to profit from the trade of goods such as colonel, ivory and slaves. The Ashanti Empire was able to collect tribute from neighboring tribes either in the form of goods or as labor. The tribute system allowed the Ashanti Empire to accumulate wealth and power. The Ashanti Empire had a strong centralized political system with a powerful king, the Ashanti Ene, who controlled the empire's resources and directed its policies. The king was able to maintain stability and order, which facilitated trade and allowed for the accumulation of wealth. Additionally, the Ashanti Empire was able to expand its territory through conquest, which allowed it to control more resources and expand its trade network. The empire also had a highly developed system of taxation which helps to fund the government and its various projects such as the construction of roads and buildings. Furthermore, the Ashanti Empire had a rich cultural heritage which included skilled artisans who produced high quality crafts and textiles. These products were highly sought after in regional and international trade further boosting the empire's economy. Overall, the Ashanti Empire's wealth was the result of a combination of factors including control over valuable resources, effective governance, territorial expansion, taxation, and cultural production.